Hello, and welcome to TechBytes.io. In this episode, we're going to walk through creating a virtual Ubuntu development environment for Django using Vagrant. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start here at the Vagrant site, which is at vagrantup.com, and we're going to go and check out some boxes. So click on boxes here, and it takes you over to atlas at hashicorp.com where they host all of the boxes that are available, the Vagrant boxes that are available for everyone to download, use, and of course they're just reusable and you can see the different uh, variations that you can get them for. So we're going to look for a, a Django box and if you type tech bytes into the search field and click and you know, return, then you will see uh, we have three boxes here available. We have Rails, Phoenix, and Django, and here is the Django Ubuntu. And this is the box that we're going to use to develop our Django application and to host it in our virtual environment. And you can see that this one is prepped for Django 1.10. So if you click that, follow it through, you will see it has the documentation here as to how to use it. And it's on a 1404 uh, Ubuntu box. So this will get you the prep, the prepare you to set up the development environment uh, that you need. So now let's run over to the command line. So inside our command line, we're going to uh, build our Django app. So here you can see I'm going to put it inside the TechBytes Python Django folder. Go ahead and put in whatever directory you look work, plan on working out of. And with that, I'm going to create a Django application for us to start with. So I'm going to say Django admin. And then we're going to put start project, and let's just call this, uh, how about Vagranty? <laughs> and we'll build out our Django application, our Django framework. So now if we cd into Vagranty, we can ls and look at what's inside of our folders. And there you can see you have the manage.py as well as the Vagranty app folder. So with that, you know, as we know, that's the basic setup for a Django application. And let's go ahead. We're going to now need to create our Vagrant file to use Vagrant to get it to create our development environment. So we'll say Vagrant init, and we're going to say TechBytes slash Django Ubuntu, and this will create our initialize our Vagrant file inside of our Python Django application. So if we do uh, ls on our application again on our folder you can see the vagrant file is there so let's bring up our text editor and configure our vagrant file to run our django app so inside of our text editor you can see that here's our application folder here's our manage.py and here's our vagrant file so let's open our vagrant file and you can see Vagrant is a Ruby-based tool. And let's scroll down and look and see here we have our configuration. It's telling us which one we're going to use, which virtual box, I mean, which uh, Vagrant box we're going to use. And it's going to be the TechBytes Django Ubuntu. So as I said before, that one's already set up to run, uh, run your Django applications. So what we're going to do here is we're going to figure, finish configuring our folder or our file as you are, and we're going to backspace and take out the hash mark so we uncomment out our config.vm network forwarded port, and we're going to ch change our ports to, well, we'll leave the ports the way they are. But what we are going to do is we are going to go down here to scroll down and get to the private network. So we're going to uncomment out our, v, our network and open up the private network and we're going to change this IP address. So go ahead and erase that, delete that, and we're going to go 55.55.55.5. So here is our the IP we're going to use for our private network and we're going to hit control save. Now we have finished configuring our Vagrant file. So next thing is to bring our Vagrant box up. So back in the command line, go ahead and check out, well one, let's just look at the files on in our Vagranty file, in our Vagranty folder, and you can see with manage.py, there's our Vagrant file, which we were just configuring, and our application Vagranty. 
So we will type vagrant up, and this will launch our virtual machine. It's going to start VirtualBox for us and put and load in our base box, which is the TechBytes Django Ubuntu. All right, once your Vagrant box is up and running, you can see that we have it here. Let's go ahead and scroll down and get some real estate for us to work with. Now we will go ahead and SSH into our virtual machine by typing in Vagrant SSH, hit return, and we will uh, get inside the command line of our Ubuntu virtual machine. There we go, now that we're up, we have it up and running. So to test it out here, let's just go ahead and say Django-admin version. And you can say, see we have 1.10.3 on here. And now let's CD, let's change the directory into our, our Vagrant file. And now that we're in here, this is where the root of uh, where the mirror, it will mirror the files that are on your host machine, on your computer, or, and it will show them inside of the Vagrant file on your virtual machine. Inside the Vagrant folder, so Vagrant uh, supports a shared file system, which allows us to uh, develop our application on our host machine and reflect it inside of our virtual machine. So as you can see, these are the same files uh, and folder that are on your host computer. All right, so now that we have, we're inside the Vagrant file, we're up and running. Let's take a look here. So let's do a, well, let's first migrate any, uh, or run any migrations that we may have. So we will Python 3 manage.py, and we will hit type in migrate. So there we go, we're mi we did, ran our migration, and you can see everything turned out okay. So let's scroll down, and now we're going to run our server. So let's say Python 3 manage.py, and we will say run server. This is running the Django server. And we're going to type in 0 .0 .0 .0. Let's do a colon 8000. And you can see system check, no issues, and our server is up and running. This is our development server. This is the common Django, uh, you know, come native to Django. Uh, server, web server that comes with this as I trip over my words, but here we can see it's at 0008000. Remember, we set the IP address to 5555555. So let's run into our browser and see what we have. All right, so in our browser, let's go to 5555, all the way, there we go, 8000, hit return. Let's see what we've got here. Maybe if we let's bring it up. And there you go. You can see it is disallowed the host. So we may need to add it to allowed host. So let's go back into our code base here. And let's go to our Vagranty. Go inside the Vagranty folder. Go to settings.py and go down, scroll down to allowed hosts right here. That's in your settings.py folder. And we will type in quotes. We go 55.55.55.5. Hit control save. Bring our browser back up and let's just refresh. And there you can see it worked. Now you can see that we have congratulations. We have our Django powered app up and running. Now, obviously, this isn't much of an application. This is just the splash page for to show us that we have our we've been able to successfully launch our framework. <clears throat> and for those that are new and want to see a little bit something extra new to Django, just hit the backslash admin, and that will take you to the Django admin page. And this will uh, it gets becomes a lot more impressive when you dive into it because Django ships natively with admin functionality. But to review this, you'll need to create a super user and a password, and I will leave that to you to do on your own, or you can follow along in one of the other episodes, one of our Django episodes. So, now that we saw what happens when you don't add in your IP address to the uh, to your allowed hosts, so if you bring that up, you can see right there it is, allowed hosts. If we were to take that back out, 
we would still see the Django framework running, but we would still we would end up back at the warning page. Let us know. But if you run, come across this and you do forget, obviously you can take a look and it does tell you exactly what you need to do. And you go and add the add in your IP address. Now you could make almost any IP address you wanted in here. Uh, just chose all fives, but you just add that to your allowed hosts and you'll be ready to run. So I'll just put that back in. Show one more time. We'll put that back in. And we we'll quote 55.55.55.5. Oops, we're not going to do that. We're going to hit control save and then bring up the browser, refresh, and you can see we're back up and running. So once you have you're done working in your virtual environment, you've coded up your application, you've got you got everything working, uh, and you're done for the day. What's the best practice of what's to do next? Well, to shut it down, right? So you can shut down your development environment so that you don't have this running on your machine the whole time. We can just hit Control C and we will kill our web, our uh, Django server. And you can see we're still inside our virtual machine that we've created with uh, our Django Ubuntu box. And we will type exit so that we exit out. And you can see the connection is closing. The connection is closed and we're back inside your host machine, you're back inside your computer. And if you run Vagrant Status, you can see that your machine is still up and running. Maybe if it moves a little faster, there we go. You can see that the machine is still up and running. It does provide instructions on what to do and how to shut it down. Now, of course, you can forcibly do this with Vagrant Halt. You could also just suspend it by running Vagrant Suspend. Or you can do what I'm about to do and hit Vagrant Destroy and it will prompt you for a yes no answer to make sure that this is what you want to do but vagrant destroy will just destroy that machine so that it is no longer there now that doesn't destroy the code base or anything that you've been working on that just destroys the machine and you can easily bring it back up just to show you hit vagrant up and it will build it all back up and create it for you um so that's our walk through vagrant in this episode with our django ubuntu box Thanks for joining me this episode, and congrats on completing your new technological endeavor. Keep on coding. And don't forget to check out other episodes at www.techbytes.io. See you next time.